Greetings and salutations, my rascal pirates. It is I, the Captain Patrick Ferguson. And welcome to another Clock Tower Quickie. Today we are uh, continuing the trend of uh, breaking the unsaid rules here on Clock Tower Quickie, where, in fact, I did not watch a movie that has been released in the last couple of years, but something a little older, with Cockneys versus Zombies. And uh, that was a goddamn blast. So I thought, hey, let's continue our so said anarchy on our own terms. So, today we are reviewing an old VHS of mine I had laying around the clock tower. God, I hate this clock tower. Mm. Uh, today we're reviewing Legend of the Phantom Rider. Now, at first glance, you would say that's a pretty cool cover, pretty promising, you know what I mean? Uh, good actors and actresses, it's uh, directed well, the cinematography at times elevates this for the budget it had, the biggest problem here is our, uh, our draw, this character here, right? The Phantom Rider, right? Takes up 75% of the cover. Blink and you will miss him. This is a, a kind of a missed opportunity. There's a lot of good acting, there's some good drama. They're really not afraid to make you just hate the villains in this. Like, you, when they eventually get what's coming to them, man, did they... Uh, truly deserve it, you know, <laughs> they earn their spot in hell, um, but the Phantom Rider, I mean, seriously, man, for such a cool looking character, uh, he is more of a Michael Myers type, or, um, uh, you know, the man who doesn't speak, you know, our most current I could compare this to is, you know, Nicolas Cage in that Five Nights at Freddy's kind of motif horror film. Because uh, this character does not speak an ounce of dialogue, and he is barely in the film, folks. I mean, he's the draw of the whole goddamn thing. He's the title, he's uh, the artwork, you know, but he's barely in it. And I think that's a truly wasted opportunity, because although I like the film, at times, you completely forget about this fucker. You know, so that, that, that hinders this for me. There's a lot of times I'm sitting there and I, like, you know, completely forgot that this was the thing. And it's like, well, can you look past that? No. And I say that because there are parts of the, uh, just fairly long parts of this film where I found myself pretty bored. You know, you're waiting, you're waiting. The dialogue's fine, it's, you know, actors and actresses are performing it very well, but you just... It's not interesting. But then another 10, 15 minutes goes by and something interesting happens. Some violence or a shootout or, you know, something pretty entertaining. But there are bits of this film, I would say, that are kind of a slog to get through. And it sucks because I feel like there's a really good idea here. You know, maybe if it was cut down a little bit, we'd put more of a... The Phantom Rider, you know, the, the fucking draw of the film actually in the movie a little bit more. Uh, so, why I did enjoy this at times, I think it just was a little mishandled. But I mean, it's fun, and I've heard no one, no one talk about this film. I think it's truly just a little obscure, I wouldn't say gem, but almost gem. You know, halfway there. Oh, oh, living on a prayer. So, let's rate this fucker. Come here, hats. I command you. This is not a one. It is definitely not some type of piece of shit. Like I said, especially the cinematography and the acting really, you know, brought home the parts that I enjoyed the most. Uh, you know, you almost could give it a two, but I feel like the parts that work really work. So no, we're going to give this a three tiny top hat rating. Uh, a very middle ground kind of thing, but again, there's a really good premise there, 
Uh, I did enjoy uh, certain parts, and again, truly hats off to the villains, because, man, you, you, you were really on the side of, uh, I want to see these fuckers get what's coming to them. <laughs> I mean, they were truly pieces of shit. So, not too bad, you know, but it's not the best thing either. Very middle of the ground, uh, but if you see it on VHS or you see it streaming somewhere, give it a shot. A shot for old Patrick Ferguson in his clock tower of madness. <laughs>